I received this in the post this morning after a fairly modest two weeks delivery and what it is it's a it's a fan controller but what they don't tell you is it's not really suitable for controlling fans uh, I should clarify that it's no it's not really any good for induction type motors as you'll see by the demonstration shortly well I'm going to open it up now and we'll have a look inside the first thing I notice is there's no strain relief well look can I pull the wire and obviously if you pulled it hard enough it would rip it off the printed circuit board somewhat amazingly the earth lead is actually connected to the earth on the external socket but it's not connected to the metalwork so if anything went wrong the metalwork would become live and you'd become dead there is also no fuse inside the product looking down at the PCB I can see from here it's basically a bog standard triac circuit there is no RF suppression so any noise that this thing makes which I should point out is going to be very extensive it is the cheapest possible way you can make such a circuit now the connections down here are basically mains and as you can see the whole board is movable and if you pull on the wires and pull that down those wire those terminals will actually touch the metalwork of the case and as the case isn't earthed again you are dead soldering at best is poor these joints here have been done with a cold soldering iron they do seem to be actually making contact but poor soldering there's no on off switch whatsoever in fact as soon as you plug the plug into your supply the whole thing is live and it's off insofar as when you turn the potentiometer down you're getting limited output but there's no isolation to this external socket at all now the advertising from Banggood on this is really misleading because it says it's a 0 to 220 volt 4000 watt adjustable voltage speed temperature dimmer controller for thermostat light fan motor dimmer well it's hardly any of those things it does not control the voltage for 0 to 220 volts it's basically a chopper and it sends out bits of um, voltage and as for being 4 kilowatts I don't think that little heat sink there will be able to dissipate the heat from that single triac in fact I can't look at the triac to see what the rating of the triac actually is but it's not suitable for use with an electric fan particularly an induction motor fan its only use really would be to use it with an electric fire without a fan inside it or light dimming in which case it would probably work fairly well apart from all the interference and noise that you're likely to get from it I'm a bit disappointed in this because it wasn't cheap 30 nearly 38 dollars and five dollars postage and clearly the case is what you largely pay for because the little module here I suspect you can buy separately for five or six dollars so a bit overpriced for what it is one last thing to show you before I put the lid on this thing and you will see that the heatsink here when I close the box the heatsink will actually drag across the mains lead this is the fan that I've got to test this out on so I'm going to turn the fan on now and run it at full power 
and then I'm going to turn the power down and you'll hear the sound it makes. So first of all, full power. And turn it down a little bit so it's not so noisy. Now listen as I turn the level down. I hope you can hear that buzzing, which is clearly unacceptable. You can't operate the fan under such conditions. But it does actually vary the speed. But you can hear the buzzing, which is the triac basically sending out square waves into the power supply. And it makes that noise up until the time when it's on full and the triac is basically out of circuit like now. Piece of junk. Incidentally, this is for the New Zealand market and that plug is again dangerous because it doesn't have sleeves on here and it's actually illegal. So all in all, if you're watching this Banggood, you should be thoroughly ashamed of yourself for producing a product that is very, very dangerous. And I've got a good mind to send it back for my money back. But unfortunately, in your reasons for sending it back, you don't have a category of a product that's just dangerous beyond belief.